Hey, today I'm going to show you how I made an inexpensive transducer mount for a fish finder. Uh, you can make these for roughly $10. I actually have $22 in it because I bought an 8 foot stick of this. You can buy this stick right here, 2 foot stick for like $6, but I bought an 8 foot stick because that's all they had. Um, I tried to buy one of these online, they're all out of stock, so I just decided to make my own. I'll show you how I did it. So this is a material I used. I used a 1 inch aluminum square tubing. This was uh, $20 at Home Depot. They didn't have any shorter pieces. Actually, the four foot piece was $22. So it was cheaper to buy the eight foot piece. So I bought the eight foot piece. And then the C clamp was $3. And then just a couple screws is all you need. I'm cutting mine at 14 and a half inches. That'll leave about a half inch up on the bottom of the boat. Go ahead and file down these edges. This is one inch square tubing, so I set my caliper for a half inch, and I'm just going to mark between the uh, where the holes can go. I'm just going to mark it right here, so I know that center. And then I'll put some dimples in between these two dots. That's where I need to put my bolt holes. That would be on this side. Turn it over to the other side for the for the clamp because the clamp's going to go in here. I am going to drill a hole and drill a hole and thread this here, so it's going to go right in that area. So I'll go ahead and mark halfway across on that one too. So I'll drill on these two. Now I'll thread the holes with the M5 tap. Normally you use lube, but this is so thin I'm not going to worry about it. It's just a couple turns in. And I'll use uh, some nuts on the back side just to help keep it in place. Alright, now I got both screws mounted inside that. I can tighten these up after I get it on the boat. And now the other end, I will put the C-clamp on it. C-clamp's gonna go right here. So on the C-clamp, I went ahead and center punched it on this side a bunch of times to get the, so the drill bit would go straight through. And then I tapped it for an M4 so I can screw the, uh, square tubing to the C-clamp so it'll stay together. So I got it mounted now. What I'm going to do now is add a little foot. That's a rubber foot. I'm going to put it down here so it'll keep it from vibrating against the uh, boat and putting a hole in the boat. If you guys don't want to drill and tap holes for these here, you can just drill all the way through, put two bolts. Use a button head bolt here so it'll be rounded and then put your nuts on this side if you don't want to go through the trouble of uh, tapping the holes and stuff. Of course, if you have this type of transducer, you'll have to make a, an adapter bracket because the holes won't line up unless you do one side. I purchased this uh, articulating arm for a, a computer monitor from Amazon for like $40. Here's the part number here. And uh, I thought it'd be a good addition to the John boat to add this circulating arm so I can move this monitor around where I want I can adjust it however I want get it out of the Sun whatever uh, what I'm gonna do is mount this to this piece of wood and this piece of wood will mount to my uh, John boat seats now the seats in my John boat have this little overhang on both sides some of the other John boats just go up and over and down uh, but I have a little overhang so I made this uh, piece of wood here with a little uh, cutout for that lip there and then the cutout for this side this side you can take this piece off to remove it from your John boat. Uh, the arm also comes with different mounts to use and you know, I think it'll be a good addition to the John boat. Now that I got it mounted I, uh, I can move this wherever I want. If I want it up here in my face like this 
down, down low, over there, wherever I want to put it, I can do it. That makes it kind of handy. I like that.